we're gonna do a quick tap in for my divine feminists in the month of march so i definitely see first off thank y'all for joining me do not forget to like share comment and hit that bell if this is your story drop them comments y'all drop them comments all right now divine feminists for the month of march i see you guys are reclaiming your power so whatever has been bothering y'all y'all are definitely taking control of these situations and i see the way that y'all doing that is by cutting certain connections out of your life yes some of y'all um have some situations people um this could even be just connections that kind of dim like they make you not want to be loving they make you not want to you know shine they make you not want to really be yourself i feel like you guys are cutting these connections out and you guys are moving to calmer waters most definitely you guys are very much moving into common waters holy spirit give me a quick tap in for my divine feminism march give me a quick tap in give me a quick tap in Give me a quick tap in for March for my Divine Feminists. Quick tap in. All right. Overall, I see some of you guys are dealing with something. Matters of the heart that are moving a bit slow for your liking. Um, this could also be, um, I feel like a lot of you guys will be addressing um things that affect you emotionally and i feel like this is really this is like masculine emotion so some of you guys uh might be dealing with somebody that's really healing themselves emotionally um what is this king of cups yeah i also see too like i said i feel like a lot of you guys would be addressing things in march that have really had a hold on your emotions and what you do in regards to love yeah so things these could be situations traumas that happen to you guys that you just try not to think about yeah y'all gonna put an end to it y'all was definitely gonna put an end to it um what is this knight of pentacles some of you guys um something might have been moving like really slow in regards to a relationship um this is like not knowing what to do in regards to it i feel like you guys are getting to the point where this was crazy y'all probably were getting to the point where it was affecting you so much where it was having you down you know because it's like we got a good thing going like what's going on yeah so i definitely feel feel like in march you guys will be reclaiming your independence reclaiming your power nine of pentacles with this queen of wands this is getting back to the money you feel me getting back to healing being okay with being by yourself focusing on your passions you know your aesthetic some of y'all might be buying flowers smelling flowers people might be giving you your flowers yes some of you guys might be receiving jewelry in march some of you guys might be buying jewelry mm-hmm I definitely see the ancestors gonna be with y'all though ancestors is definitely gonna be with y'all in march yeah y'all wrapping up cycles y'all are wrapping up cycles y'all are healing in march what is ending mm -hmm. what's crazy too um i feel like if you guys have been on the teeter-totter is that what it's called you know up and down with stepping into your, you know, empress energy, your emperor energy. I feel like that shit is over with. Y'all about to start going hard as hell. Because y'all are healing. Some of y'all could also be in the situations with people that keep you on a lower vibration as well. Somebody that went cold towards some of y'all as well will be coming back. Yeah, they hit a point in their life where they got stuck. Some of y'all, um, some of y'all, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, some of y'all um, got somebody that hit a rut in their life and they will be coming back. I feel like somebody needs to speak their peace over something. Okay? 
all right so i feel like an issue for you guys in march you might be feeling like something is um over with something might not start some of you guys might be considering not vent like i'm hearing revamp so maybe some of you guys want to do something over what's this ace of wands in reverse some of y'all having a hard time moving on from something that's over Yeah, some of you guys as well uh, might be having a hard time starting over. Yeah, some of you guys might be having a hard time starting over after like something traumatic happened. Some of you guys as well, if you're wondering why something has not like came back, I feel like something is going to be revealed to, it's going to help you realize like this was not something that you were passionate about. Some of you guys in terms of a business, if you just blaze out on it or like let it fade out you're going to realize that it's something out there more that you do love to do but you're having a hard time seeing that right now some of you guys um some of you guys are being kept away from somebody in march because like as dope as the connection is this person is stuck in a toxic ass energy they do not want to make a decision about something this could be in regards to family uh, but divine timing and divine intervention intervention is at play in this situation. You don't want them the way that they are right now. Yeah, so spirit is saying, like, some of y'all are having a hard time letting something go. If it's real, it'll come back. All right. Now, I definitely see in the recent past, you guys have let go of whatever has been keeping you down. Like, whatever has been keeping you stuck and stagnant. Some of you guys uh, might even be releasing that soon or in the current process of it but this is like this is like secrets like wanting to know what's going on or what's happening to the point where it's draining you yeah it's taking you away from what you even supposed to be focused on yeah i feel like um a lot of you guys will be y'all gonna be like i said reclaiming y'all power back Moving the common waters by cutting out certain connections of connections that keep you confused. I definitely see in y'all headspace, y'all thinking about making wise decisions in regards to things. Also, too, some of y'all kind of pick up that. <laughs> so I just start hearing the battle. It's not yours. It's the Lord's. Excuse my voice. <laughs> but yeah, some of y'all... Um, y'all like i feel like it's as tempted as y'all to make other decisions y'all making the right decisions right now and that's the perfect thing to do because the battle was not yours y'all ancestors on somebody ass. y'all ancestors is on somebody ass at a rapid speed for something that happened in the past you ain't even have to take action because they on somebody ass they is on somebody's ass and it might be something um it might be something that I feel like you were unaware of that happened. Some of y'all too are thinking in March like a motherfucker did put some juju on me or some shit. Yeah, clarify. Yeah, some of y'all gonna have this thought that somebody put some type of juju on you. And I do feel like some, some of y'all, like if y'all get a thought in March and this is like this is gonna be a random thought like this is gonna be a random ass thought something that happens the thought gonna come to y'all here like somebody I feel like somebody hex my love life and then y'all gonna y'all gonna be like how the fuck is this going like this for me but somebody else's love life is speeding up y'all gonna put two and two together yeah but what's crazy whoever did this what y'all don't know is behind the scenes, <clears throat> this, whoever did that shit, they getting ran through the motherfucking mud by their family. Whoever did that shit. They are tired. It's something going on within a family unit that they wanted so goddamn bad. Some decision that they made is, is costing them financially. And they grounding their sanity. What's crazy? Y'all not going to know about this shit, but the moment that y'all do choose to put an ending to, you know, that on and off energy when it comes to celebrating you, that's when that switch is going to hit. 
And this motherfucker is gonna be fucked up. It's giving me vibes. Somebody was siphoning some of y'all energy, trying to switch destinies with y'all. But everything that's meant for you is making its way back in March. Believe that. Believe that. Mmm. Ooh okay. Some of y'all too. Y'all funny as hell. Y'all could be seeing somebody. Um, <clears throat> somebody might make an announcement that they're not getting married or they're ending, like something like a relationship or marriage or something. And like y'all gonna be like, you never love that motherfucker anyway. <coughs> <laughs> you never loved that motherfucker anyway. You was just in love with the idea of being in a relationship. All right, so what's coming in March? You guys have options. Well, this is two of wands. Y'all got options. Y'all got options. And honestly, I feel like y'all gonna cut something out that wasn't working. And something that will work and is going to work is gonna fall right in y'all lap. And it's gonna be something new. It's going to be something new. I feel like y'all going to want to take it slow, of course, because of how a past situation, you know, played out. But I do see, like, y'all don't even see this coming. Y'all don't even see it coming in the next two to three weeks as well in March. Some of y'all don't see an opportunity coming. This is a job opportunity. Yes. Y'all don't see it coming. Eight of Pentacles. It's four of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all don't see it coming. This is something that y'all was working on. This could have been a job that y'all have not heard from. This could be a job. This could either be a job that y'all haven't heard from. Um, this could be a job where you held it close to your heart. Like this is stuff. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Y'all don't get the opportunity in March. But it's gonna take for y'all to cut out some toxic ass cycle. You're going to have to turn something down in order to get this because in order to get this, you're going to have to be in a, in a good vibration of where you are happy with yourself. Not in your head. So it's going to take for y'all to heal. It's going to take for y'all to heal. I definitely see a lot of you guys are doing a lot of healing. Yeah, and if something is not meant for you, y'all not going to hear from it. Y'all not going to hear from it. Some of y'all gonna find out that somebody chose to invest in um, a fucked up relationship where whoever they're with, that person does not fuck with them like that. But they chose to invest in it. In this bad business. <clears throat> whoever that is, it's giving like somebody invested in somebody that came from money. This person could have came from money. And they just wanted a little more money. And somebody is going to be like completely drained from the situation because they really had high hopes that it was going to work out. But somebody did something to gain control over somebody. <clears throat> this is giving me vibes like somebody was already decent by themselves. But they got, they wanted a, 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 like, this is like a title with something. To solidify it. To have control over something or somebody. Yeah, what they're not going to be saying is that that shit is burdensome. That shit is burdensome. And that shit is breaking their ass down behind the scenes. <clears throat> Some of y'all not going to hear from somebody because they in a situation where a motherfucker is breaking their ass the fuck down. <clears throat> breaking their ass the fuck down. Yeah, and this person is hurt. Because it's over, but they want us to do other extra ass shit. But yeah, somebody gonna be hurt by y'all healing. It's very much given like y'all gonna get an apology too from somebody by the end of March as well. They getting broke the fuck down. But it's given like when you take and claim your power back, like you gonna see a lot of shit flip and switch. Like y'all gonna be y'all gonna be like damn when y'all really choose to focus on yourself and you know just stay in your own bubble. Shit gonna start shaking. And I ain't talking about the tape. Alright, so let's see. 
I definitely see the advice for you guys in March is learn how to let go and focus on your path. Something ain't going, you know, how you expected it to. Don't get confused. Don't get in your head. Don't, you know, frustrate yourself trying to figure out what's going on. Focus on your path. Some of you guys as well. Um, I feel like some of you guys, when you feel like, you know, stuff isn't going to like look up or you don't know what to do. Still move with loving kindness in your heart. Okay. Still communicate to people with love and kindness and dismiss what anybody has to say about you. You don't have to, you know, be withdrawn because you have people speaking against your name. Yeah, you guys are coming out of suffering in March. And I feel like you came out with a lot of lessons learned. But you definitely are detaching from somebody. You know, this could even be detaching from aspects of yourself where you do things and don't really want to do it. Okay. I definitely see as well, um, you guys are learning lessons in regards to patience. Um, with patience, either you can experience karma or you're going to experience dharma. All right, thank you guys. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for tuning in. When you do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell if this is your story. Right now I'm on the yes, and now I'm planning on letting up. We probably won't be popping.